This is what boxing needs. A record 96,000 tickets sold for a heavyweight showdown at Wembley Stadium in London. Daniel Dubois will make his first IBF heavyweight title defense when he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with former three-belt champ Anthony Joshua in a 12-round bout on Saturday. At the weigh-in on Friday, Joshua weighed in at 252 pounds, four pounds heavier than Dubois. Since losing back-to-back -back fights to Alexander Usyk, Joshua has won four in a row, including a knockout of the year contender against former UFC heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou in March. Dubois lost to Usyk in 2023, but has bounced back with back-to-back -back wins. And for more, welcome to CBS Sports Combat Analyst Brian Campbell. At the weigh-in, Anthony Joshua said, quote, I look at myself as a gladiator. I'm about to step into an arena to perform for the people who love to see blood, guts, and glory. BC, what's at stake for Anthony Joshua in this fight? Uh, his history, his potential legendary status. I mean, AJ's already been a two-time champion and a decorated ticket seller and a rock star in the UK. But he hit hard times, particularly those back-to-back -back losses at the title level for Al against Alexander Usyk. What makes this fight so perfect and really bigger than a boxing fight, it feels like a cultural event with 96,000 is it's not aging champion against Slugger on the rise. These are two reborn fighters that are absolutely at the peak of their primes. And in the case of Joshua and really Dubois as well, to be fair, two guys that maybe the general public gave up on pretty seriously at certain points. But here's Anthony Joshua back with a mean streak. He's riding a vicious knockout streak. And he even went the length of spending four days in darkness and at an isolation camp. And whatever went down in the darkness there has birthed a brand new light in front of in Joshua, where he comes in here as the favorite. But this is very much a 50-50-ish fight. And that's why it's brought so much attention to London. 12 title fights in Anthony Joshua's career. In another one, he's a heavy favorite to earn heavyweight gold. So then what's the path to victory for Daniel Dubois as he makes his first IBF heavyweight title defense? Look, both of these fighters are, are going to certainly build off the jab and try to box and win rounds. But you know this fight has the potential to get combustible quickly. It's expected. It's going to happen. And for Dubois, I think you've got to stand in there and fight. Look, when I talked about both of these fighters being counted out after big losses, Dubois has reinvented himself a few times now. Obviously, the big one when he lost that unbeaten record against Joe Joyce and people thought he quit, only to find out he had a very serious eye injury and he fought heroically in that. He's come back after that close loss to Usyk where you could argue maybe he scored a knockout. He thought he won that fight until it was ruled a low blow. It showed you what level he's on, but his last two fights, big time knockouts, reminds you that he's also, when he has his game together, as dangerous a finisher in this division than we've seen. So what do I need to see from Dubois? I need him to take the center of the ring, match AJ power for power, and really ultimately find out Who's got the bigger guts? Who's got the bigger chin? Because these two are reborn. They are hungry. And there were times, if you're talking about AJ, where we feared he was too much of a boxer, not willing to put himself in the line of fire. This new AJ is ready to throw. What do you say to people that are saying Anthony Joshua is facing a younger version of himself in Daniel Dubois, a 34-year-old now facing the 27-year-old? What do you say to those people that are saying, hey, he's looking in the mirror in this fight? It's a great way to sort of frame it. It really is. Their stories match up in so many ways as we just laid out. But Dubois, as a fighter, has put together that mix of athleticism. He can box. He knows how to use his size. When he's on the vicious streak that he's on now, he certainly knows how to finish. In a lot of ways, these two do mirror each other. They're just a little bit apart in age, and obviously AJ has had much more success being a unified champion, and for a time, maybe the biggest face in the entire sport opposite Canelo Alvarez, of course. They've both gone through some serious reinventions, which is a big storyline here. But put the storylines aside, we're going to get a gun battle at the highest level. Heavyweight boxing, it's different. It's also different when you put 96,000 people in Wembley. This has WrestleMania three, Hogan versus the Giant vibes. It really does. It's one of those great joys of life. 
heavyweight title boxing that matters. Yeah, this is what boxing needs. The energy, the passion coming into this one. Dubois is a plus 360 underdog. Anthony Joshua went from minus 425 favorite to a minus 500 favorite. BC, you're a man of the people, so I know you're not about to come out here and tell us to lay the big number. So what's your prediction in this fight? The fight is not going to go the distance. It's going to end by knockout. And I think it's going to end with Anthony Joshua getting back a piece of the heavyweight title for a third time, which puts you in kind of a new category when we're comparing the heavyweight greats. Why do we love Evander Holyfield so much? Because he constantly reinvented himself in the same way. Heard those people counting him out. Never gave up on himself. AJ is kind of having that run right now. I think this will be a slugfest. You may even see both guys hit the canvas. It could be that type of title fight. But I think AJ's got the bigger weapons, and I think he's also a bit more focused and driven to come back with a vengeance. And that's a scary thing because AJ's always been an athletic freak. He'll show you these flashes of brilliance. But has he really ever put it together? This new nasty version of Anthony Joshua is scaring a lot of people and I think he will ultimately walks through Daniel Dubois and essentially awaits the winner of Usyk versus Fury too. Brian Campbell going Anthony Joshua via TKO round 11. That is some value plus 2300. Brian Campbell put knowledge in your mind so you can put money in your pocket. BC thanks. And you can watch Joshua and Dubois battle for the IBF Heavyweight Championship Saturday on DAZN. Here's a look at the full fight card. The action begins from Wembley Stadium, 11 a.m. Eastern, with the main event ring walk expected around 5 p.m. Eastern. A record 96,000 tickets sold for this event. Brian Campbell will be back with a Saturday post-fight to break it all down.